to our channel. I am sorry it's been a little while. Um, today I thought we'd do a little part two about enrichment. Um, I've actually just done a short course on canine enrichment so I'm feeling a, a bit more inspired um, and last week or the week before I think it was um, I ordered some new enrichment types of toys and things for Bailey so I will show you those. Enrichment is about improving the quality of your dog's life. Um, why wouldn't you want to do that really? Uh, you might think that you know going for a walk is enough um, and that's great because there's lots of things that they can do on a walk. Obviously stopping for lots of sniffs is very enriching for your dog. Um, but if you think about all the time that they're spent in the house, they don't have the choice like us to be able to just go out and see their friends or um, you know go and do whatever they want to do. So we want to give them things inside the house that um, enrich their lives, make it better, um, and generally just make them happier, really. A lot of the big benefits to do with enrichment um, are that they build confidence, um, they problem so they learn how to problem solve by doing enrichment games, um, they can reduce uh, stress as well, because things like licking and chewing are very soothing and grounding for dogs. Um, so if you have a dog that's like gone on a big walk and he's come back and he's really excited or something like that, giving him something to like lick on or chew will just sort of bring him back down again. And it does work for Bailey as well. Usually if he's been out and it's been a bit stressful for him, like yesterday, um, we went out. We didn't even go that far, honestly. We went up to the field and a cat came out and Bailey spent five minutes screaming at the cat. So that was obviously quite heightened stress response. Um, oh, here he comes. Good boy. Once we got home, um, we did some... Um, licky mat with some pet dog paste and um, the Arden Grange paste is, is great. We just ordered a few of those and he loves it. Yeah, so we had that and sort of calmed down and then about five minutes after we went for a nap. So um, I think if, if we hadn't done that, he would have taken a lot longer to sort of come down from that stress high. Another benefit obviously of, of the enrichment is the mental stimulation. So I always think of it as like, for us humans, um, if, you, if you're in your house all day, as we much have, we've probably been experiencing what it's like for our dog's lives. Um, and you can go out for your one hour of exercise or two hours of exercise, whatever it may be. Um, but then actually once you get back into the house, if you don't have any like work to do or any projects to work on and you're just lying there sitting around like, very boring so by giving the dog something to do it just adds to their day and I kind of compare it to like us sitting down and doing like a crossword or a, a sudoku puzzle and it kind of um, it works your brain as well so it keeps um, for older dogs that are aging it kind of keeps their brain fresh and, and working better. So on the course, I learned a bit more about um, like dog specific enrichment. Luckily, the woman who did the course has a terrier herself, so it was easy for me. Um, hello. But we looked into um, Bailey's breed. So he's a crossbreed between a Jack Russell and a Patterdale Terrier, um, or he's a Parsons Russell, because he's got these lovely long legs, haven't you? Um, but they were both bred for ratting and hunting. Anything to do with that, that kind of natural vibe are things that he loves doing, they're his favourite things. Um, so anything like small, squeaky, he loves a squeaky toy, um, he's got a couple of squeaky toys that are his main ones that he goes to. If he's feeling like he wants to play and it's not something that I've um, started he will go and get a squeaky toy nine times out of ten the other things that he loves are to tug and shred like the, the kill and um, so we have a lot of tug toys um, but we also like to do things like destruction boxes um, which is uh, like a box filled with treats or something but then you put like paper or tissue paper in or something like that and the dog sort of pulls it all out and shreds it up um, which is fine you know it's mess but you tidy it up at the end of the day it's not a bad thing he also loves um teddy bears so we used to because he just obviously kills them within five minutes and um, we don't want to spend a lot of money on them we learned that lesson early on so we go to charity shops and usually just find like little 
toys, nothing that he's gonna swallow. Thankfully, he does spit everything out afterward. But little toys like that we'll give to him and he'll spend like 15, 20 minutes shredding up and then we usually keep like the skin of the teddy bear, the rag, so that he can rag it around still. Um, but they're a couple of quid and it gives him a nice bit of entertainment. And yes, it goes in the bin after, you know, however long, half an hour or whatever. Um, but he's had that time spent enjoying the toy so for me I don't really care it, you know if, if he destroys it he destroys it that's kind of what it's there for so people may be worried that allowing their dog to do those types of things so like digging and um, chewing and things like that allowing them to do it will encourage them to do it more but actually if you give your dog those alternatives to be able to um, you know, if you, if you have a sand pit, for example, if they like digging in, you'll find that they won't probably dig up the garden because they've been given that um, enrichment and that area to do so, as long as you sort of um, positively associate that area with what they can do, um, you should find that they shouldn't do any of the bad behaviours. Um, so such as digging up the garden or chewing the furniture legs, if they're provided with chew toys. That being said, if your dog is experiencing, if you are experiencing any of those behaviours with your dog, then do seek a professional trainer or behaviourist's help and don't just take my word for it because I'm just relaying back what I've learned on a course that I'm not a qualified trainer or anything like that. There could be very different reasons why your dog um, is is showing those sort of uh, undesired behaviours. I am going to show you the things that I got for Bailey. So here we have our two boxes um, delivered from Amazon Prime. Um, as you can see, Bailey's already really interested. Um, we discovered, I think, one Christmas that he really likes opening boxes. So this is kind of a two in one. There's obviously the things that I bought him, but actually getting into the box um, and tearing out that paper and things like that um, is part of the enrichment for him. Um, I didn't actually video all of that bit, but you can see here he's obviously quite eager to get in. Um, one of the important things about the enrichment that you choose is, is to, if you haven't done any with your dog before, just start with some really easy things. Don't close the boxes and make them too hard to open because then your dog will get really frustrated and the point is that it's fun and enjoyable for your dog. So here we have the treat ball and the treat snake. Um, I did think the treat ball was a lot bigger than that, so I got a bit of a shock when it arrived. Um, but he has tried it, works really well, hides the treats nice and um, well, and he can get them out as well. So after I washed the snake tree, I got the new Arden Grange paste and I filled in a little bit of it. Um, I wanted to just try him with this first because it was the first time he'd used something like this and also he'd never had the paste before. And um, we also got some sprats, although I'm gonna try and get a bigger bag next time because he's blasted through them. Um, these fit really nicely in here. It's a really soft um, plastic, uh, like rubber, sorry. So you can kind of cram a lot of stuff in, you can freeze them, that sort of thing. And as you can see, Bailey was straight into it. Um, absolutely loving the pate. He, he does like sprats, but he's not like crazy for them, um, but he did enjoy getting them out of here. Next up, we have the treat ball. Um, it's a small rubber ball um, with sort of spikes inside. It's very flexible, so you can open up those gaps and put things like sprats in. Um, I've done this with um, a couple of other things like kibbly treats and um, the pate as well. Um, he also quite likes peanut butter as a special treat, so that's gone in there. And then they go in the dishwasher nice and easy for cleaning as well. Um, so here he is having it for the first time. I did get a bit worried because he started to sort of chew and pull the little rubber bits, but he hasn't actually broken it yet. But um, this is one of those things I'm not gonna leave him unattended with. There he goes, gets a sprat. And then I just thought I'd show you this cute video at the end. This is the pink squeaky ball that Bailey is obsessed with. Um, here he is after playing with it and he's tired himself out so much. So he's gonna go for a nap. Night.
and that's it for today's video thank you for joining us if you have any tips or um, types of enrichment that you want to recommend for us and for Bailey then please let me know either send me a message or um, in the comments below um, and we hope to see you in the next video